Well, today we are going to try and test and play some old classic PlayStation 1 games on my Android TV box, which is the H96 Pro Plus. So I've installed all the uh, emulator apps and uh, I've copied some of my PlayStation 1 games to my Android TV box. And uh, I've plugged in my uh, uh, PlayStation 2 controller, which has a, a USB connector. So yeah, I'm ready to uh, try out some of my uh, favorite classic uh, PlayStation games. And uh, let's see if they run as well as they did back then, as now on, the, uh, on an Android system. The first game we are going to try will be Klonoa, which is one of my uh, personal favorite uh, platformers from back in the day. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a little lesser known platformer, but still one of the best uh, I've played, so I could really recommend it. And I will be playing this uh, on Android 7.1 with a PlayStation 2 uh, controller. So uh, yeah, let's see uh, and find out how it plays. While playing, it feels like uh, like it's running at full speed. And when we look at the uh, upper left corner, we can confirm that it is uh, running at uh, full speed because it is running at 60 frames a second, which is uh, exactly the same as it would on the uh, regular PlayStation. So, so far, uh, the emulation on Android is uh, pretty good. It uh, runs at exactly the same speed. Um, it doesn't lag, uh, the audio is good, so uh, yeah, I've got nothing, uh, nothing so far. Our second game we are going to test is uh, Pandemonium. I've played this game uh, quite a lot on my PC back in the day, but I've never played it on a PlayStation, so I'm, uh, I'm kind of curious on how it, how it plays on PlayStation, or in this case, on, uh, on an emulation on Android. For some reason this game didn't want it to start on the, with the emulator I've uh, tested before. So I've installed a second uh, PlayStation emulator called Classic Boy, which uh, can also play, uh, I believe it was Super Nintendo, Nintendo 64, and even some Game Boy games. And uh, with Classic Boy you can play uh, Pandemonium, so no problem at all. Pandemonium is also running at full speed, uh, again 60 frames a second, so so far so good. We have two games running at exactly the same speed as, uh, as it would on a uh, normal PlayStation. While you're watching some of the uh, gameplay of uh, Pandemonium, I can tell you a bit more about the H96 uh, Android TV box. It has a M-Logic S912 uh, board and uh, with eight cores it comes really uh, really cheap it's only around uh, 60 euros and it uh, it even has uh, three gigabytes of ram the the plus edition there's even a, uh, a max edition with four gigabytes of ram but it's it's uh, a bit more expensive and i'm not sure if it's uh, really worth it i think uh, the three gigabytes is quite enough and uh, as you can see, it runs uh, uh, PlayStation games uh, really well. So uh, if you're looking for a TV, Android TV box, uh, which you can use to play uh, like retro games, like uh, Super Nintendo, PlayStation, even some Nintendo 64, uh, I could recommend this box. It's uh, like I said, it's around 60 euros, and um, for that price, uh, it's uh, it's a really powerful little Android TV box. The 
the next game doesn't really even uh, need an introduction. I think we've uh, all played it once, at least, in our lives. It's uh, Crash Bandicoot. As you can see in here, it's a little bit lagging. Uh, it doesn't run at full speed. So yeah, besides that it isn't running at 60 frames a second, uh, I don't have anything to complain. It's, uh, it's uh, playable and it's enjoyable. So uh, I've only tested the game with one emulator. So uh, it could be that if I tried it with another emulator app that it would be running at 60 frames a second. So I might have to tweak some settings and uh, try, try some more, uh, even install some more uh, uh, Android emulator apps and uh, maybe it can run at full speed. I don't know, I have to check it. But for now, uh, here's some more gameplay of uh, Crash Bandicoot on the H96 Android box.